when you look at these phenomena, or if you feel it's just one phenomenon, what are we looking at? What do you, what do you conclude by all the stuff that you've seen? You walk out, you're now in the private sector. How do you feel about UFOs and UAP? Well, I know it's a real scientific phenomena that I don't know what it is. There is a lot of um, I, data. There's a lot of data that I've seen that leads me into the the bin of sort of the science fiction. It could very well be extraterrestrial uh, beings, drones, AI, something like that. But it also leads me into the, uh, you know, when I try to come up with a mundane uh, near peers or, or billionaires or something doing this on Earth, that uh, that seems to be more of a stretch than going toward the more exotic explanation. And then there's always the possibility that Mother Nature is showing us something new that we've never seen before. But, man, it's it certainly doesn't act like just some random uh, natural phenomena. Um, so I'm more inclined to lean one way, and that is that there is some nuts and bolts solution. Uh, it might not be made of nuts and bolts. It might be something completely different than what we understand as nuts and bolts, but that it isn't something we built, uh, and it is something that we should be concerned with. I mean, I can tell you from firsthand, uh, after being exposed to radiation out on uh, Skinwalker Ranch and being sick for a week from it, uh, that uh, I think there's a, and seeing other people uh, have physiological effects and hearing the psychological trauma that, you know, the pilots and things have talked about, uh, this, we need to get to the bottom of this. And when you see how close they fly to airplanes and stuff, uh, that's concerning. What if one of them decides to fly a little closer? So, so them having an extraterrestrial origin is, is on the table for you, but you're not a hundred percent convinced. Well, um, See, that's the thing about the way I want everybody to understand this is, while I might think that's the answer, uh, if I can't prove that's the answer, it's disingenuous for me to tell everybody, you know, that it's probably aliens or it's probably the Chinese or it's probably the Russians or whatever. If I can't prove it any until I can until I can prove what it is, it's it's very disingenuous for me to to say otherwise, because it's going to lead people to, you know, maybe, you know, go to conclusions in other parts of their life that, uh, that this would affect. And, uh, and I don't want to do that. Uh, while again, yeah, all I can say is the, the, from probabilities right now, the probability of it being more of a science fiction answer, uh, than it is a mundane China near peer, Russia, oligarchs, something, I don't know, answer seems like, uh, it's 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 going up higher on the uh, the science fiction scenario being more likely because it's just everything we've turned over every rock we've turned over on planet just on, on Earth just suggests that there's nobody here that could build these things and do this to do these kinds of things uh, but I could be wrong and I'd be happy to be proven wrong or or I'd also be happy to be proven right. 